So, guys, you won't believe the latest from New York. Mayor Eric Adams wants to force people with mental illness to access help. Yeah, that's how you deal with mental health issues. By force. Ah. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, Adams was referring to Jordan Neely, the unhoused man who died after being put in a chokehold by a former Marine on the subway. <sighs> ah, New York never a dull moment. <laughs> Now, Adams believes that the real issue was a lack of mental health services for the city's unhoused population. Totally valid, but you know what's not valid? Forcing them to get help. Way to be supportive, Mayor Adams. You know what else is nuts? Adams wants to more aggressively hospitalize the mentally ill, even if they're not posing a threat to others. <laughs> wow, taking away their freedom without reason? What is this? The 1800s again. <laughs> they say he's gotta go, go, go! Mayor Adams! Sorry, you couldn't resist. <clears throat> so, the New York Civil Liberties Union is shocker not happy with his plan, accusing him of playing fast and loose with New Yorkers' rights. Anyway, the kicker is that Neely, the unhoused man who died, used to be a Michael Jackson impersonator. He struggled with mental health issues after his mother's murder. And what is again return? A choke hole. Poor guy. Al Sharpton said it best at Neely's funeral. People need help. Gotta be- In conclusion, forcing mentally ill people to access help is like putting water on a grease fire. That just makes things worse. <laughs> so let's hope for once cool heads prevail in the Big Apple. This podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.